Nikki and I are on a treasure hunting adventure in Ibiza. We've driven our camper van all the way down from the Netherlands to Barcelona, where we took a ferry to the island of Ibiza, where we've been hanging out along the cliffs for the last month. We've come all this way to see how many rings, jewelry, and money we can find diving with underwater metal detectors. Ibiza is known as the party island, and with so many people partying at the beaches, I think we're gonna find loads of treasure. To have the best chance of success though, I've picked the top four beaches on the island to search for treasure. Calabasa, Cala Saladeta, Benny Ras, and Calacompti. This is video number three in the Ibiza series. We've found loads of lost treasure in the first two episodes at Calacompti and Benny Ras, so check those videos out if you didn't see them already. Now let's see how much treasure beach number three in Ibiza has waiting to be found. Welcome to Cala Saladeta. G'day and welcome back to Cala Saladeta. Just park the car there. This is one of my favorite beaches to go treasure hunting. We came here last time on our trip three years ago and we found loads. So I'm really looking forward to going back there today. But unfortunately, the one thing I'm not looking forward to is this giant hill that I've got to walk up afterwards. <laughs> so hopefully we come back with lots of treasure to make it worthwhile. Let's do this. Yew! life of a treasure hunter isn't that easy <laughs> when you've got to climb mountains with all your weights and, and gear but hopefully this will be worth it I think it will. Cala Saladeta is just a tiny beach located on the north side of the island although it's small it's one of the most popular beaches in Ibiza to get access to the beach you need to hike over a little cliff but as I had my dive gear it would have been much easier to swim especially because I had bare feet but as I'm about to find out this won't be the only obstacle I have to face trying to find treasure at this beach We've got lots of jellyfish here today, so we've got to be careful. Have a look at all these bad boys. They're everywhere. So I've got my wetsuit on. I should be all right. Apart from my beautiful face. All right, let's go find some treasure in paradise. <laughs> As soon as I put my head in the water, you can just see how many jellyfish there are. And these things have tentacles that come off them that sting. They might be small, but they pack a punch, these things. Luckily, I'm covered in wetsuits and I've just got my face exposed a little bit. So I'm not going to let that stop me from finding some treasure, but I might come out with a few red patches. My detector beaks every time it goes over metal and I use this red pinpointer to locate the target in the hole. First find of the day isn't that promising. I've got a ring pull, the curse of every metal detectorist. We'll keep going. I know this beach gets super busy, so we're gonna find something awesome soon. My best I ever did was finding two rings on the first two holes I dug underwater. Yeah, this target sounds pretty good, so we might be onto something. When you've been underwater metal detecting for a while, you get used to the sound, so you get a good feel for what might be under the coil every time you dig. But you're never 100% right. But this time I was, we've got a nice, crusty old silver ring here. I'm absolutely stoked to find a silver ring as my second target. That's so cool. This spot's going to be great. The ring's pretty black because it's been underwater so long they go black and crusty, but that'll clean up like brand new. And here we've got our first coin for the day. It's 20 euro cents, not the biggest one, but it all adds up. We'll get a closer look at all the finds at the end of this video. In the meantime, I'm going to navigate my way through this asteroid field of jellyfish. And let me ask, have you ever seen anything like this? That is five jellyfish stacked on one another. Crazy. Do it. <laughs> Now that's a chunky fishing sinker. We've got ourselves our first Euro coin. He looks like he's been down here a while. He'll clean up though or I can use him in parking meter. I'll stick him in the pouch along with all the other finds. This water is so clear it's like treasure hunting in a pool. I'm loving it. And the money keeps coming, we've got 50 cents now. What a treasure hunt, absolutely loving it out here. What a paradise. Shame about the jellyfish. <laughs> it's probably stopping some extra treasure being found as well, but no one's swimming with these things in the water, right? Unless you're me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh man, I'm just having a great time out here. It's a beautiful sunny day. I've got my Nemo, I've got my metal detector. I'm finding loads. I've got four rings. Just loving it out here. This is Treasure Hunter's dream. To come to places like this, doesn't get any better. Look at the water, it's amazing. It's like treasure hunting in a pool. I never want to leave. Beautiful, beautiful. Day in paradise. Another day at the office. Another day in paradise. Let's keep going, find some more treasure. Oh, it's got to be so much here. Oh, This is an old Spanish coin before the Euro, they're called Pesadas, and they made them so well, you just scrape off a little bit and the dust comes off and they just look so shiny and new. They don't make them like these days. So here I've got a Euro coin or a two Euro coin, and they just come up so crusty and what you have to do is put them in a um, coin tumbler so you can use them again. But now I've got these unidentified crusty blobs, so we'll smash them open at the end of the video to see what's inside. Usually it's a coin. And yeah, I'm just in a coin patch right now, so this is awesome. And this coin is massive. I have no idea what it is. I know it's an old Spanish coin, but we'll check it out at the end. So cool. That was an awesome treasure hunting adventure. We've got a whole bag full here of treasure. It was just so good. I mean, look at that view behind me. Just a beautiful paradise beach, crystal clear water. And boy, did I hit the jackpot today. So let's empty out the finds pouch and go through everything. Have a look at all that stuff, man. And there's the trash as well. And look at all these rings. We'll come back to them at the end. Let's go through all this stuff first. Look at all these coins here. It's just mental how many coins. I'm just going to do a quick rough count. Ready? So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and plus the fifties and whatever. Let's say fifteen euros. And these are the Spanish coins we got over here. Have a look at these ones. Twenty-five pesetas, fifty pesetas, this one's also cool. What does he say? 1989, and that is a CN. Look how crusty and black this one is with a hole in it. That's an old Peseta coin too. So this is Spanish coins before the Euros. I did find a super cool coin. I just want to find it in here. I've never, I've never found this one before. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, here it is. This is the cool coin I found underwater. Look at this. 50 Pesetas, Espana 82, how cool is that? Big chunky coin out there. Couple of lead sinkers there. Good to get them out of the water and we use them for the dive belt as well. That one is a silver chain. It's gone black like that from being in the water for so long. But that is, it's got, looks like it's got some writing on the top there as well, which is really interesting. So we might clean that one up and see what it says, but that's like a, a bracelet that goes like that but it's just obviously crustified away. That's the lock. 
<laughs> that's also rusted, so that's crazy. And then this one, oh my gosh, this looks so good underwater, just shining in the light. It's a Prada one. It says made in Italy. I have no idea. Does anyone know how much these are worth? Is that just like the value of a silver chain or is this like an expensive thing there on the with the Prada brand? These sound so good underwater. The old trusty ring pull because it's made out of aluminium and that doesn't rust. So it sounds like a ring. So you got to dig it. This is the best part. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all these rings. So we've got one, two, three, four, five rings in one treasure hunt. Let's start with this one. So he's a little silver one and he's obviously turned black as well. So he's just like one you'd buy from the markets or something like that. Really popular, everyone wears, wears those ones. This one, now he looks gold. Oh my gosh, just to see that underwater is so cool. You know, a gold ring. He's looking pretty crusty, so I'm not too sure about this one. It's a gold ring. It's so cool to see a gold ring underwater. It just like shines away and I'm just like stoked to see it. So yes, this was like sitting straight on the surface. So it must've been a fresh drop down there. Then we've got this big one. He is really heavy. And let's see what he's got in there. Oh, he's got some engravings in the bottom, but I can't quite see what they are. I reckon it's not silver. I reckon it's like platinum, titanium, or palladium, or something like that. And then we've got another one here, and he's looking like just a silver ring. So five rings, I can't believe that. I hit a little honey hole out there. Just had the best time. One signal after another, after another, after another, just digging it up in crystal clear water. Absolute paradise. Look at all this treasure. Hope you enjoyed this adventure as me, but I don't think you did. So <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll see you soon for another one. Treasure hunting in paradise. Eww. And before we go, I just want to smash this open because I'm not too sure what it is. All right, so I've got this crusty thing. It's an unidentified object, so it could be a coin. Here's a rock I prepared earlier. Oh, just smashed him. Look at that. You can see there is, out of all that crust, a very tiny coin inside there. How cool is that? I knew there'd be something inside there. Let me smash the rest of it. Look, out of all that crust, a tiny, teeny coin. And that is a, what is it? A one euro cent coin. What's left of it? Look, it's just dissolving. It's just the skin of it. It's been down there that long. <laughs> How cool is that? I knew there was something in there. Crust left of a one cent coin.